Hello again, checking it out. Uh, Tech of Feed Server. Uh, this is my first version of a solar panel crafting machine. I used wireless turtles, uh, automatic crafting benches, filters, uh, sorting machines, wireless redstone, obviously the pneumatic tubes, uh, some solar panels, furnace. Uh, of course, macerator and extractor. Yeah. So, and everything has its place. Uh, I'm, this is almost a completely automated system. You do have to keep the boxes full, which is why there's a condenser here with just random stuff in it. Uh, and then this chest has at least one of everything that we'll need. So we can just stuff it in the condenser, throw it in here turn on the sorting machine which is right there and it'll fill up all the wireless turtles full of their materials and they'll be our chest for this one uh, the reason I use them to store the items is because you can use the uh, computer craft code to count the items and it's really cool so let me turn on the main computer and show you So it's going to count everything that's in those and send it back to this computer to display it on the screen. And the little arrow on the side uh, just gives you like a status of where the machine's at in counting. It has nothing to do with the actual crafting. So check it out. Uh, the buttons over here were like a first run uh, before I set up the computer system to do it. But it's also kind of handy if you notice like one thing, like batteries or something's getting low, then you can just make straight those. Bam. And the machine will make, a, or will turn on everything it needs to make a battery. You can see the stuff coming through. This must, yeah, the battery chest here, or the crafting table. And it already pumped one out, so there's one waiting in here for next time. Alright, so this other computer down here, I guess I didn't think that through very well either. Oh, easy fix. Okay, so this machine actually shows, well, it actually makes the machine go. <laughs> so if I just type make in all caps, it'll make one solar panel. It'll go through the process and make one. So as you can see, we're turning coal into dust, we're turning resin into rubber, and sand into glass and then making iron into refined iron. We're getting some copper wires and some redstone, probably to make a battery and a couple of circuits. There goes an iron furnace and a generator. So you can see the stuff just uh, floats its way around until we get a solar panel and bam now we have one the machines reset and ready to go for the next and I can actually I have this program to be able to make uh, 32 so at the most right now I could type make 32 and it'll give us 32 solar panels after like half an hour or something stupid it takes forever but it's kind of a cool machine. I can't tear it down, so figured I'd put up a video. But, uh, yeah, the lights up here are kind of a last-minute addition, kind of like a progress indicator for each solar panel. But uh, it messes up if you use the buttons, like you saw. Let's see. 
there's pretty much three stages of this thing so each set goes pretty quick like it'll come to the next one yeah and then it'll pause for a while quickly turn on the last one and then when they go off the solar panel's been made so now we have another solar panel down there and we can check out how much of each item we need so I'll show you this code real quick just because it's cool um, Let's see here. I'm trying to remember what I called it. It's called crafting display. All right, so this is my crafting display uh, code, I guess the program that runs on this computer to show that awesome display. Uh, the first part is just to get the m hardware that's connected to the computer working, uh, which side the modem's on, to use RedNet and the monitor. Uh, this first chunk here, um, that writes the little title text that I have on the bottom of the screen and then we have our uh, whole list of items this is a blank list at the moment with just dots showing how far across you know and then we use that oh. as uh, strings and a, and then we have each of the wireless turtles ID number so 29 is the ID for sand so forth and it puts it puts the total uh, after the dots so pretty slick uh, and then this is the code that makes the computer go through the counts and update you can see, uh, well, it's hard to explain, but uh, it works. <laughs> I actually learned this while I was doing it, so even I can't like tell you exactly what's going on here. <laughs> but uh, if it uh, if it gets a number from the wireless turtles, it'll put that number as a message after the array that we did up there and if not it'll just put a question mark and that's pretty much the end of that little program but uh, I'm pretty proud of it even though it's simple shit <laughs> so control exit and we'll just control s So that's my first version, version 1.0. Thanks for checking it out.